Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. We're going to do some more regular Tottenham transfer talks now that it looks like the uh, the purchases are going to start coming, the sales are going to start coming. The window is about to open. So let's start off today with something that Team Talk have been saying because the dad and agent of Sao Paulo forward Jonathan Cagliari has said that a verbal agreement has been reached with Tottenham. Now, Let's be honest, I'd be surprised if many of you knew a lot about him. I didn't know a lot about him either, but I've looked it up. He scored 12 in 24 games for Sao Paulo this season. He was previously at Boca Juniors, so two of the biggest clubs in Southern American football. A lot of pressure at those clubs. Big grounds, big stadium uh, stadiums with huge atmospheres. Uh, he's done well there. He's uh, 22 years old, as I mentioned. To me, in terms of transfer rating, uh, how, how likely this is, He's of the right age and we are looking for a forward, so I'd say maybe three out of five. But to me, nothing that uh, either Team Talk uh, or any of the other, The Sun also talked about it, uh, none of them have mentioned the possibility that he might not get a work permit. Now, he's Argentinian. I don't think he's played for the national side. And we know the work permit laws in Britain are pretty harsh. You have to, uh, you have, to have played about 75% of your international team's previous year's games, or you need to prove that you are a player of special potential or ability to get through those work permit rules. So I'm only gonna give this one a three out of five likelihood because I feel that work permit issue could come back to haunt us if we really went for him. Next bit of news, Sky Sports News have come out again and said that we are rekindling our interest in Southampton's defensive central midfielder, Victor Wanyama. Now, this one I think is more four out of five likelihood because we've shown interest in him before. He had a great game at White Hart Lane against us in the penultimate game of the season. And almost most importantly, he is just about to enter the last year of his contract. If he says to Southampton, I don't want to sign a new contract, then it's really likely, I think, that they will want to get some good money for him. In between 10 to 15 million pounds, I would have thought, after the season he's had. Obviously, he did get a lot of red cards this season. Discipline could be an issue, but I'd like to put that down to the fact that he wanted to move last summer. He didn't get it, so he wasn't quite feeling himself, so took a lot of players out with some reducers and two-footed challenges. Uh, let's face it, Mauricio Pochettino uh, does love a player with a little bit of grit inside him. So that could be him, Victor Wanyama, coming to Spurs to play as a squad player alongside uh, Eric Dyer, kind of taking it in turns to play that defensive central midfield role. That would be a good sign if you ask me. Finally today, this is a bit of a one from the left field. The Daily Express have reported that Jamie Vardy is available to Champions League clubs for £20 million. If you're in the Champions League, his release clause from the contract he signed in the past year says that for £20 million you can get him. Now, for me, although I think obviously that would be a great signing, 29 years old, doesn't seem to me like a Paul Mitchell, Daniel Levy or Maurizio Pochettino signing. Would he be guaranteed to start for Spurs unless Pochettino changed to a 4-4-2 as Leicester played or kind of 4-4-1-1 uh, to win the league there? It seems unlikely to me, but would we like to see him at Spurs? I mean, let me know what you think in the comments box. I think it'd be a great sign. I think it'd be fascinating. It would get a lot of people very interested in the beginning of the season for us, but it just doesn't seem like a Spurs signing. So I'm going to go for a, a one or two out of five likelihood. Guys, let me know what you thought of those transfer rumours in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Come on, you Spurs. Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On, and this is the latest edition of Smithy versus Slat. Smithy, oh, how I are you? I love this feature, mate. It's brilliant. Smithy is five to up. Uh, which